I get too close to one of those things, the devil inside me might pop out and start fighting with the devil inside the fruit. If that happens, my whole body will be blown to bits. <laughs> Hey hey my dear pirates, you are on channel, Straw Hats One Piece Theories. And in today's video we're going to talk about the creation of the Devil Fruits, the Primordial Demons and how Aim Sama and Luffy will converge on the same fate. After the recent events of the One Piece Mondo we saw that Aim Sama and the Gorosei turned, by all indications, into monstrous beings and this made many people remember a mention made in the Ark of Water 7, where it was said that the Devil Fruits actually had demons inside them. So, is Im Sama this primordial demon? And how do Luffy's and other people's fruits fit into this context? Well, we're going to analyze all this in today's video. So if you want to be a pirate king like me and achieve eternal glory, go ahead and press the like button with all the power of your Devil Fruit, and if you're new here my dear sailor, already subscribe to the channel and don't forget to activate the notifications bell so you don't miss any new video, okay? Then join this crew that will dominate the entire Grand Line and the New World. Now without further ado let's get to this epic video. And well my dear pirate, in a very old video here on the channel I had already commented on this subject, but now that we have more information we can theorize a little more about the possibility that maybe the powers of Luffy, in this case, Nika, and Im Sama are really opposites. Being Luffy the power that goes against everything that is said is natural, the power that breaks the status quo, the power of evolution and Im Sama being the power that wants to keep things as they are, nature and order. And according to Dr. Vegapunk this makes a lot of sense. According to the scientist, the fruits arise from people's hope, bringing to reality the potential for human evolution that someone wished for. Therefore, a devil's fruit is born from the desire of a certain person. Devil fruits allow people to do things they normally couldn't. Therefore, it is understood that those who consume them are living the future they imagined. However, as they are things that escape the natural order, reality rejects the fruits. That's why the sea, the incarnation of Mother Nature, hates anyone who consumes a devil fruit. It is something hated and unnatural, causing devil fruit users to reject the waters of the sea. Despite the information being an interesting theory by Dr. Vegapunk, it's just that, a theory. He himself clarifies that he does not have a real proof of the information past. But knowing Eiichiro Oda, everything in one piece has a reason to really be there. So he does not doubt that Dr. Vegapunk about the devil fruits have some truth. Therefore, the idea that Im Sama is the representation of the earth, the natural order or Gaia and that Luffy is this entity that changes pre-established concepts makes complete sense within the plot of One Piece. Even more imagining the concept in which the world of One Piece is inserted in astrological parameters since the world of One Piece appears to be the center of the universe. But what if it isn't? What if the One Piece world is just another planet like ours that circles around a star? Even in this Luffy and Im Sama can be applied, where Luffy would be the idea that changes what is believed and Im Sama is what maintains what has already been established. For that I said in the introduction of the video that although both are possibly one in opposition to the other, both are following a journey, perhaps millenary of reincarnations by Nika and immortality by Im Sama, that the truth in the end will appear, and she could be the union of everything that these two mythological beings represent. Im Sama could be, or have become, that primordial demon that controls the seas and tries to end those who use the devil fruits for distorting the concept of what is natural. But if we think carefully, we will realize that Im Sama also uses unnatural mechanisms to achieve his goals, such as his own immortality and who knows, even the consumption of the already existing first fruit of the devil. So, as much as Im Sama tries to prevent certain truths from coming to light and some evolutions from happening in the world, in the end, this will happen, because no one can foresee human action like that and stop people's free will even if it leads to humanity to collapse and to its own end. It's like Blackbeard once said, a man's dream never ends. So, as much as at certain points Im Sama is right in trying to protect humans from himself, humanity's destiny is to evolve, it's to discover and contest. And as King Cobra said before he died, 
the world should not move according to the will of a single individual. I believe that just like in the case of Luffy, Imsama, and even the Gorosei may have mythological zonin type devil fruits in this way it would explain the monstrous and even demonic forms that everyone there turned into, but in particular, Imsama have something special just like Luffy. A divine fruit, a fruit that has a non-human will, a fruit with the will of something that is on another level, perhaps the fruit that has the will of the forces that govern the universe, the cosmos, the natural laws of life and death. But now I want to know your opinion about everything we commented here today. Do you believe that the mystery about the demons inside the devil fruits has finally been unraveled? Are Luffy and Im Sama destined to go on this journey to try to balance things out in the end? But of course, if you made it this far it's because you like the content, so it doesn't hurt to subscribe to our channel and become one more member of our fleet, my dear sailor. And of course, do not forget to press the like button that helps a lot in spreading the video and the channel, so help us to become the largest fleet of pirates here on YouTube, okay? A big hug for everyone, and until the next video.